Hey everyone, um, so I am just pulling into a hardware store. I wanted to do a little bit of a, a video on what you can get from a local hardware store. I mean, I guess this is Australian dependent, but this can be any style of, you know, hardware store. Um, what you can get in a carving axe, what you might need to do to adjust that carving axe once you've gotten it. Um, and yeah, let's see what we can find. Okay, so I went in and there were a few different types of um, hatchet, camp axe, and things like that um, on offer. I just got stopped at the, the freight train line, so I'm gonna be waiting for a little bit. So I figured I might as well talk to you about this axe. <clears throat> so, 600 gram steel uh, AX6. Six, I'm assuming, stands for the weight, 600 grams. Um, I just looked up on the site, it's a, it's an ash handle, and they just say forged carbon steel. It seems fine. 60 bucks, $65 on the nose, like exactly 65. Uh, it does also have um, a micro bevel. But what I wanna do is I wanna try and work through, if you're just buying this ax, going straight into spoon carving. So I'm not gonna adjust the grind just yet. I'm gonna bring it home uh, I'll take a couple of cuts and see how it feels and give you guys um, a breakdown from there. So, um, at first glance, this seems like a very serviceable shape for carving. The big thing that you want to look for when you're looking for something that's cheap um, try and avoid cast steel. It, it's really hard to keep an edge on cast steel. Um, once you put that burr on or that edge, it'll flake away. Shape wise, feels fine in the hand. Handle's probably a little bit long for the size of the head, but that's fine. Um, so I'm just going to crack into some, you know, relatively dry cherry. Um, it's got a couple of knots in it. I haven't done anything to this edge. I just want you to know I've literally bought it picked it up off the shelf and now we're here and we're going to see how it how it performs <laughs> okay so I don't know if you saw that just then uh, completely unusable edge it's not sharp enough at all. It's got this really tiny micro bevel. Um, so straight off the shelf, could you carve with this? I pretty much no, I would have to say. It would be really, really hard to find any satisfaction carving because at the end of the day, that's kind of what you're looking for is, is it gonna make you happy? Are you gonna wanna pick this thing up? And I, right now, with this edge, don't wanna pick this up. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a fresh edge on that. Okay, welcome back. When you're spoon carving, ideally what you want in an axe angle is a Scandi grind, which is essentially a planing bevel, one flat bevel that runs as, as wide as it can get, basically. So what I'm going to do with this axe is I'm going to set a new bevel the tricky thing is because it's quite a narrow head, I can't make a really, really wide bevel angle. Um, and that'll give you that nice planing cut when you're axing. I'm going to just try and put a Scandi grind on this axe as um, obtuse as I can get it. Realistically, I think I'll be aiming for about 28 degrees. Um, I like my bevel to be around the 30 degree mark, anything narrower than 28 starts to feel a little too slicey for me and the edge feels a little too weak but we're going to put this on the Tormek I'm going to take a bit of time getting this all dressed up and ready to go and we will see what we can do um, so I am basically just going to set that or tighten these up and then I'll uh, grind this on and we'll have a look at how that grind comes out
So I'm going to switch around before I hit the uh, the burr, before I raise the burr, just to make sure that my bevel angle stays even on either side, because if I peel all the way up really aggressively to one side, it might end up being slightly asymmetric. So I've almost raised the burr right the way across. It's a little bit more to do right on that nose, right on the tip. Because I want my edge to be as consistent as I can, even though I only need to raise the burr, actually I've got it everywhere now, even though I had to raise it just slightly, just slightly on that section there, I still made sure that uh, I ran a full pass over the entire edge. So I'm pretty happy with that edge now. I'm going to flip it over and then start to pass the burr across and then I'll change grits on the stone. Okay, so now that I've established the new bevel on the axe, I'll shift over to um, stropping the blade. And there we have it. I have taken this edge from its factory, um, quite aggressive, convex with a micro bevel, which means the cheeks are slightly round and it comes to a point, but quite a, a wide point. Um, I flattened that to a 28 degree Scandi grind. Um, so let's take this out uh, to the same piece of cherry and see how it works. Right then, um, so I guess in conclusion, um, the question would be, can you walk into a store, buy this axe, start carving a spoon? The answer I think is no. Um, can this be a good spoon carving axe? Honestly, yes, it's totally fine. Um, the balance is pretty good. Again, the handle's probably a little bit long. Um, yeah, for 65 bucks, it's really nice. Uh, I just wanted to kind of let you know that you can go into a hardware store and pick up an ax, and with a little bit of an adventure ahead of you for sharpening, um, you can get yourself a really nice uh, carving ax for not that much. Um, I hope this has helped. Please, any questions that you might have, uh, put them in the comments below, uh, and consider subscribing and uh, liking the channel. And I hope this finds you well, and I will talk to you again very soon.